What's up, everybody? Okay, that was all. Now, this is going to be a sort of tutorial on how to flash your drive. Well, basically, I watched lots of tutorials myself before I was amazingly clever and worked out how to do it. None of them actually really told you how to set up, to set, do all the setup stuff. So that's what I'm going to teach you today. Now, I'm doing it with a light on drive. Here it is, my light on drive. It's actually my friend because I'm doing it for him. And yeah, I'm going to be doing it with the CK3 Probe 3 and the CK3 Light. Now, I've actually already flashed it. I did try and film it whilst I was flashing it, but seeing as I'm doing this with a laptop webcam, it didn't really work at all. And it stopped recording halfway through, so that kind of failed. So now I'm just going to show you how to actually set, set up the stuff. Now, I'm doing this on my sister's bed. Don't ask me why, it's just because there's a PC in her room and I use that to take apart and stuff because nobody cares about it. So yeah, that's why. Look, it's over there. Look, just there. There you go. Anyway. Right. First things first. What you want to do is you want to take this big, black, thick, long wire the one with the little springy button on and you want to take it and you also want to take your CK3 light now mine has wires coming out of it because these connect to my transponder and I didn't have any spare ones of these in my computer not being used so I had to just buy a little splitter thing um, I might show you the inside of my computer and how to connect it all up maybe maybe not if you're lucky I might do now take your light and you want to take this you want to take the end that doesn't have the button on and you want to put that in here uh huh right, you want to make sure it's the right way around and just put it in no sexual references there okay now that's done that's trickiness you want to take this there you go, this thing it's got screws on it and stuff. Now you want to put this end in your light here. I'm not even filming it, okay. Right, here I'll show you in a second, my finger's in the way. Duh. In there, there you go. I'm not even showing it to you. There you go, there it is. Okay. Next, you want to. By the way, this goes in the back of your computer. It's pretty simple, actually. You just shove it in and screw the screws. Um, you want to take your probe. Look, mine's got a little package thing. I always keep it in there. There you go. CK3 probe three. Really small and stuff. That's what she said. Um, and you want to take this little wire that comes off the big that thick long black one comes off here there you go you want to take that wire and you want to plug it into your probe the right way round right way round preferably and there you go now you want to take this the button end of the big th thick black long wire and you want to put it in your drive now you want to put it in the white one there so I'll just put it in there. Okay, you have it plugged in. Now, your computer may have a spare one of these inside it. This is a SATA cable, serial ATA, SATA, serial ATA, however you want to say it. It's one of those cables. Now, um, if you don't, you might have to just buy one, a couple of quid, I think. And you want to plug that into the black port on the back of your 360 drive. Voila! Um, now what's left is to connect it into your computer. If you got one of these with your thingy, like I did, don't worry, it's just um, spare. Yeah, basically, that's all it is. So, yeah. Now you want to connect it to your computer. Um, I'll just describe it to you then. I can't be really bothered to unscrew my computer and everything. Now this serial alter cable 
this just goes in a serial after port and you'll see you'll see one of these wires in your computer somewhere and there'll be another port next to it and you'll just plug it in um this goes in the back of your computer you'll find that and this will basically you should have some big sort of box somewhere in your computer with loads of wires looking like this coming out of it now you probably won't have a spare one you might do but you probably won't so what you want to do is just uh find your hard drive or your DVD drive or something or like your disk drive inside your computer unplug them and just connect one of them to that and the other one to the other one sort of you know what I mean I don't know you might not know what I mean but just connect that into your transponder which is the big box thing that's basically how you set it up I won't show you how to flash it because I already flashed my drive and yeah hope this actually helped kind of Thanks, bye, subscribe, rate, comment, all that kind of stuff. See ya.